Upgrading varies from organization to organization. And as we move on, we can see there are different degrees and different variations of upgrading. In this chart, I will be explaining the lower variation and higher variation of the degree of explicit coordination and symmetry, as well as starting materials to the end use in a specific market. So if you look at the right, the upgrade pattern varies in different organizations, as I have mentioned, depending on their organizational vision and mission statement. And then organizations would have to alter their model to benefit them in the long run. For instance, if we look at a human resources aspect, which is my major, upgrading employees would be as simple as you know, providing job rotation, job enlargement, job enrichment. We give them different things to do, we make their tasks more important, and then we enrich their job, which makes their job more fulfilling in the long run. In terms of value chain, we are ident identifying the potential weak spots and targeting them for upgrades. So if we look at the chart from the left to the right, if you can see in the market, we have a fixed price or a specific price that has been set in the market and then we provide it to the customers and suppliers. It's easy for them to gauge. That's why it has a lower degree of explicit coordination, less control, uh, less managing and all that stuff. The next one we look at modular. So there's a lead firm, a turnkey supplier, and then the components of material suppliers. Materials are then gathered from the turnkey supplier and then lead firm to deal directly with them, similarly to a B2B uh, corporation setting. And then we move on to the next one. I won't go into more details about it, but that these are the basic. Upgrading an organization is key for a longer and sustainable component. And we want to look into that with different modes Depending on our organizational structure and the organizational goal, we want to move on differently. Next, we have this chart that shows the topology of outsourcing and offshoring strategies. After the upgrading, we can see what are the means of upgrading. Do we just do it all in the organization or do we do it in such a way that we can outsource and offshore our resources so that way we don't get as much clumped up? So as you can see on the top left corner, if we are outsourcing to, you know, letting our jobs go into other firms in a domestic source, it's called outsourcing. Whereas if we let our, if we give it to some other firms and then we do it in a foreign country, it's, it's kind of like offshore outsourcing. Bottom left, if we are doing it in the same company, domestic, it's called in-house production. However, if we do it foreignly, it's called Forex Direct Investment FDI. Functional upgrading, as mentioned in the article, has a very significant graph that's shaped like a, a U, so it's like a bowl. So it ranges from step one to six, fabrication, supply chain, product design, product brand, R&D, advanced services. So look at the color coding. We have the fabrication, entry into the value chain then we have the supply chain so once you have a product or you have an idea that has, has already been uh, talked about and then there comes the procurement and distribution product design is a functional upgrading procedure that allows organizations to realize hey is this product uh is this product does this product meet the guidelines of market Designs may be incorporated in, in collaboration with the buyer or the buyer may attach its brand to a product designer by the supplier. Product branding is in collaboration with the buyer as well. It's also a functional upgrading for the product. Supplier can acquire post-production capabilities and can fully develop products in its own under its name. After that, we move on to adding an additional layer, R&D. Increasing unit, upgrading the production firm, depending on the country and the cost as you can see when we look at the graph everything's stacked up from number one to two three four five if we can have three and four we can proceed to the five and that's where we move into the six which is advanced services such as you know improving the it logistics reducing the lead time and the flexibility and increasing flexibility of supply chains you know lowering the cost improving the capital is what a capitalist market would do. Uh, similarly, in this chart, you will see it's an aircraft. <laughs> uh, 
uh, if you look at different components, you know, forward fuselages and all that stuff, doors and windows are made in USA, uh, center of fuselage made in Italy, wing is made in another country. So technically everything is kind of made in the world in these recent times. So what are the goals for organizations to upgrade so that the plane can be cheaply uh, or manufactured in a more affordable way that most organizations can afford while improving their lead time so this is when we when we bring back into previous uh, topics we can see hey is there r d made you know is there a product fabrication product upgrades so in a nutshell we want to see what are the specific things we want to upgrade in the organization so that they can realize oh if we're not good at making landing gears let's outsource it let's offshore it to france if we're not good at uh, designing uh, center wing boxes let's out offshore to japan it increases the chance of being more successful in the long run while providing the value chain being a more significant in the specific organization